Welcome to this video. My name is Annerike Heuvelink. I'm a researcher at the Dutch Institute for Applied Research, TNL, and I've been working the last year at Mayo Clinic at the Healthy Aging and Independent Living Initiative, uh, looking at if active video games, so games like the Wii or the Kinect, can aid with healthy aging. I did a study where people could participate in playing those active games for 12 weeks, and they were all over 65 years old. Today I will present you a brief view of their own experiences. I asked my participants a few questions and they gave a very short answer and this way you can have a nice view of their experiences. So the questions we asked them are the following. What is your favorite game to play? Uh, I play bowling the most of the time. I tried some of the others and I wasn't uh, quite fast enough to do some of the other sports. My favorite game was probably Oh, let's see, what did they call it? Haystacks <laughs> that I called it. Rally Ball, I think it was. The bowling. Well, the one that I enjoyed most was the, uh, the athletic one. And what I would really enjoyed most of that was the boxing. Describe your gameplay experience in one word. Enthusiasm, I guess. Fantastic. Terrific. Fun. How easy or hard was it to learn how to use the Kinect system? So to turn it on, to log in? Oh, it wasn't hard at all. It took one or two times and, and uh, I had it down. It's a little complicated. I, I, if it could be simple, simplified, I think it would help. But uh, one of the things that uh, I found with, I have poor eyesight and I think they could leave the score up a little longer. Well, that was easy. I'd say moderate. Once I got onto it, I, I needed help a number of times to, to make it work, but I asked for help a couple of times because I seemed to be getting nowhere with, with uh, trying to, for example, getting a hold of my uh, Adabar and uh, pegging it as mine. <laughs> that, that, was more of a problem than anything else, really. What should game developers that want to develop games for older people pay extra attention to? Well, the limited mobility of the, some of the older adults, at least. Uh, so there should be some games. Now, fortunately, I'm not in a wheelchair, but a lot of people are or use walkers and that sort of thing. So um, you would have to have games that can be played sitting from a sitting position, I think. The program offers very good exercise for elderly people. Uh, the problem that I see is people are afraid to try things. And if you get them uh, up here and they find out it isn't so bad, then I think maybe more people would have participated because I thought it was a lot of fun. Keep it as simple as you can. You know, that. Uh, uh, there were a few uh, roadblocks in some of the games here, but once we got used to them, it was okay. Uh, if they had been a little simpler to introduce them, uh, we probably would have got caught onto them quicker. But, uh, but they were fun after we got onto them. I think moving from one <clears throat> part of the uh, introduction to, and the, the directions ought to be they're not likely to ever be too helpful. I mean, that, that's the area where I, where I found that I tended to ask for help. 